with another week of Real Spit Radio. I'm your girl, Tammy Too Much. And it's your boy, E.B. Newman, the voice of the voiceless. K-Mac Knockville will be with us shortly. I handle some business right now. But uh, yeah, before man. we uh, before we get into that, um, there's a few things I just got to say. Um, last week, uh, if you tuned in to Real Spit Radio, I would like to apologize. Uh, there was a time on the show where I lost my composure. Uh, and I was completely unprofessional in the things that I had to say uh, uh, towards our guest who was uh, who did not show up last week, but he did call in. Um, I was completely unprofessional, but I would like to just say um, I meant everything I motherfucking said. <laughs> uh, Already? Yeah, because what happened was y'all don't really understand the story behind this. Uh, the, the guest who was the gentleman last week, uh, we've had several run-ins, and uh, he has a he has a tendency to be a habitual uh, deuce cobber. Uh, if you're a fan of Real Speed Radio, you know we we were on a previous station. He was a guest then. Uh, off the air, he said something real slick out his mouth, and um, Mac K Mac got right in between it. Kind of killed it, like, listen, you as know. As he always does. As he always does. Man, listen, there's no need to go there. Like, you know, he he, he, he didn't mean no harm. So I let it slide because Mac the big homie. So if he say, cool, let it slide, that's what you do. So I let it slide. So uh, we had another event, a venue. Uh, once again, he was sitting at the Knockville table. Um, had no business sitting there, but he wants to be a part <laughs> of everything. Um, and he slickly came out of his mouth again. And at this time, because Mac said, yo, this, I know him, he cool. Uh, so I went to Mac, you need to talk to your man. This is the second time he's gotten out of pocket. Uh, there was a third time you heard us briefly. So in other words, you saying he keep getting saved. Yeah. So listen, so he, it was a third time at the Gentleman 10 that we tried to briefly talk about, he once again got out of pocket and he was real slick out of his mouth. And because he was slick out of his mouth, once again, somebody else got in between and stopped it. So last week, he was supposed to be our guest. He was supposed to come on. He was supposed to talk. He was supposed to address the issue and be honest. But what he did was, he was the bitch-ass nigga that he was. And he tried to turn up over the telephone. Don't turn up over the phone with me when you know you're not going to do it in my face. Well, I don't know. I think he said he wants to do it. Diamond, Diamond K, Diamond K, let, let me finish, sir. <laughs> for, you, for you start instigating and pouring gasoline on fires. He said, so listen, no, Diamond, Diamond. Diamond, I know you like the instigating. This is what you're going to do. You can do this all the rest of the show. He said he got to train him. So he can get <laughs> I don't care if his mother trained him. She couldn't potty train his punk ass. She didn't train him how to brush his teeth. Funk oh, breath bastard. Oh, oh my goodness. So listen. So that was the third time. He got real disrespectful at the gentleman 10. I do not allow disrespect. Somebody got in between it. I spoke to Mac. Mac I said, Mac, this is your man. He's real disrespectful out his mouth. And when I see him, I'm going to have to get with him. Max said, no, I'm going to talk to him. He's not going to. So then last week, he decides that he wants to turn up and tell turn me. Up he did. And tell me he know where I be at. And I know his if I. And his car broke down. His excuse why he didn't show up last week, ladies and gentlemen, was his car broke down. I would just like to clarify. He does not have a car. He does not have a car. Maybe it was his driver. Maybe he had an Uber. Right. The Uber or the Lyft broke down. Well, guess what? That's possible. Do you know what they do when that happens? Right. You know what that happens? When your Uber or Lyft breaks down, they send you another one. It'll take you to your destination. What if it was Democrat and it was a hack? <laughs> they have other hack clubs. <laughs> so he told a lie. He did not want to address me face to face. He wanted to be the pussy that he is, and he wanted to do it over the phone. So then he did the whole gimmicky, sure, I'll box him. Well, if you, anybody who follows me on social media has know I've been sharing the videos where I clearly know he doesn't want to box me because he let another grown man open hand smack him in the face. Who will be here tonight? Who is, I guess, tonight. But it was 30 of them. It was not. It was one. I, I just showed you the video, Diamond. Stop perpetuating that lie. 
Diamond, don't put. <laughs> well, guess what? Not only, not only am I bringing, not only do we have the guests, that we not only is our guest coming who who laid the hand. Yes, we are best the guest tonight. The the person that smacked him is our guest tonight, and the other guest has some other inside information on that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm exposing all frauds and fakes around here. This is Real Spirit Radio. I do not tolerate no My disrespect, no nice. fraudulent behavior. <laughs> no, dis okay. It's not going down. So what I would just like to let everybody know is this episode of Real Spirit Radio will be the last, mm. the last, the very, the very last time we address this gentleman on this show unless no there is no unless, unless. y'all agree to the sparring match. no there is no it's no unless we agree to nothing this will be the last he's time for it. i don't care what he's for he i'm gonna repeat this i'm gonna repeat this to both of you <laughs> this will be the last time he we address see. him on this show he can address me in the street. He know where to find me. Like he told me last week, he Baltimore City you. Small and this show in at 1030. He yeah. know where to find me at. So we don't got to do no box. He said he couldn't beat those 30 people where he can beat you. Up them boxing gym ain't too far from his house. <laughs> so if he really want, if he really want, you know, we ain't got miss words. I, so I ain't but the fake phony shit. I ain't about to play in the games. So if you really want to see me, up them boxing gym is not too far from his house. He can meet me there any day. I can call Devin Butcher. Up. We were never friends. Like friends. No, he was a he was no. an associate of my friend, and that's the reason that he ain't got his head knocked off already. Because he keeps getting saved. And after he called him, after he called and he talked all that shit last week, he called somebody else to cop another deuce. Well, listen, we have we have a whole lot to, to discuss. About this issue tonight, Is but the until then, we're going to go. Tell them come to, on in. We're going to go to commercial break because um, our guest has meantime, arrived in the building. In the meantime, uh, in celebration of our six-year anniversary. Ready on Fire is running a buy one get one free advertising sale. Yeah, yeah. So for a limited time, when you purchase one week of Ready on Fire commercials for sixty dollars, you get an additional week for absolutely free. So make sure y'all check out that deal in honor of our six year anniversary. We are Real Spit Radio. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> 